All right, we in the middle of the at-work party. Four questions on myk104.com. Got Trey Songs with me. How you doing? I'm good. Oh, I was supposed to say that in the mic. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last time we saw each other was, remember, we surprised the fan at somebody's house. Yeah, that was dope. And we were drinking Hennessy before. Because no, 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 she was kind of nervous. She was kind of nervous about meeting you. But yeah, she was dope, though. Yeah, yeah, she, she was, was cool. Excited. She was, yeah, she was yeah. ecstatic. But okay, so I got to ask you, because I know with this album, you're kind of treading that thin line where you're like, oh, I want a relationship, but I kind of like the playboy status right. and stuff like that. So if a woman wants to get your attention, what are some qualities that make you attracted to her? I mean, uh, you got to be different. Mm -hmm. And you got to, uh, I think it's, it's kind of like, it's very uh, relative depending yeah. on you know the setting but i love a woman that pays attention to detail mm -hmm. uh because i pay very close attention to detail uh you know if we in a relationship or we are trying to build a relationship that's that you notice things i like or i notice things you like and that you paying attention to things i say like you might bring up something or you might uh say oh i remember you said you like this mm -hmm. this this thought process or you speaking out about this we should go see this film or we should go to this uh museum and see this piece of art you know what i mean but you being trey songs like people are like there are a lot of ladies who are just dedicated to listening or looking at what you got so how do you right. know they're paying attention to detail and then being like kind of groupy or fanatic i mean it's, that's the thing you got to carry it out you got to see you can't judge people from uh the beginning i think i'm pretty a pretty good judge of character mm -hmm. but you know when you uh when you trying to open yourself up yeah. you know you want to not push people away because you paranoid or because yeah. you famous or uh i just want to give people like a fair chance okay now speaking of like what's your deal breaker like what is something like is it chicks smoking a cigarette like oh, what's that's definitely a deal breaker yeah and is there anything else <laughs> that's that you <laughs> named that off right you, it, that's you it. did that for me yeah uh i'm i'm, I'm very good on uh, very big on uh, just hygiene, very big on, you know, manners. Yeah. Very big on uh, uh, respect. Uh, and I think uh, outside of that, deal breakers, you know, the regular stuff, talking to the homies, you know, just being out of, being in the wrong place at the wrong time, being yeah. somewhere you ain't supposed to be. Oh, you was here, but you was there. Oh, oh I found out something about you that you said was, you know, this was your character. But it's kind of like that. Uh, it was a movie one time. Uh, I can't think of the name of the movie, but this girl became everything that she knew this man wanted to be and her sister ratted her out. Uh, at the end because she wasn't really the person I don't think I she saw said. that movie because no. I don't even know because nah, I was like maybe it, I can get some details and figure like it out it's like a little chick flick like yeah. a, one of them uh, you know American romantic comedy drinks. Okay, that's real that's real okay so um, aside from that what's the craziest groupie experience you had like did someone show up at your house naked oh uh, man uh, I had actually somebody write a letter to my house uh, somebody that was actually uh even we, in this digital world, like they write yeah, letters, yeah, yeah. snail mail. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you you smart, it got to me. <laughs> okay. Wrote a letter, uh, found out my address, sent it to my house, and uh, claimed they had my baby. Like I actually had to go. I had never met this person ever in my life, and I had to go like really get a DNA test. Like, cause you know, if somebody claims that you are the father to their child, you have to. Oh. So okay. now it's just. And story. even with randoms. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Wow. But I, I, it's happened enough times now that they could just check it. Yeah, right. that's real because it's right. on file. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so I don't have no kids. <laughs> I got no kids. You got nieces and nephews. Though. A bunch of. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real. Okay, so on a typical day, because I know your schedule is very hectic. What's an ideal relaxing day for Trey Songs? Uh, sitting and doing nothing, uh, catching up on like I had. Uh, not even a day off the other day like I, I went to Virginia to do the same thing I'm doing here uh, mm -hmm. in stores uh, meet and greets and uh, when I went home I, I caught up like I actually watched like three parts of the Khalif Browder series oh like, yes I, I want to see that I hadn't seen it uh, but I just I, I love to catch up on things that I haven't had time to catch up on uh, I might go play basketball I might hit the gym I might do nothing yeah. You know what I mean? Nothing uh, sounds amazing. Nothing is Doing amazing. Doing laundry? Mm -hmm. well, you, I mean, I'm sure that's not it. I ain't did laundry in a long time. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you got people for that. But anyway, that was four questions with Trey Songs. I appreciate it you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had a few in, in between. That's all good. Yeah. But I appreciate you stopping by. No at doubt. Party. I appreciate yeah. you. At that's work party. Yeah. At myk104.com. Trey Songs. Yeah.